Very good day, my name is Stefan Dressendorfer from Advanced UV Light, GLE. We develop and manufacture high pressure sodium lamps in Berlin, Germany. Today we want to talk about the 1000 watt double ended HBS. Someone might say this comes late, this lamp is around since more than 10 years. Yeah, you are correct. But our marketing department decided to present this product in a video and actually this was part of the reason why it took more than 10 years. Now let's talk about the HBS. It's a combination of physics and chemistry which generate visible and invisible light. By applying on the high voltage side to the neutral side high power between cathode and anode, there is a discharge obtained. Inside we have special gas, which design together with the ceramic the spectrum. The color rendering index, the CRI, and the light yield can be increased by adding allergen and materials of rare earth. The pressure and the purity of that what is inside is very very decisive for the yield you get from the lamp. The double-ended is a perfect instrument to get the best light distribution out of the fixture. But now let's take a look at the components in detail. First, the lead wire. Here on both sides we see the wires or strands. These serve as contact pins for the power supply. Number two, the molybdene foil. The stranded wire must be inserted airtight at the ends of the lamp into the quartz glass. The molybdenum foil is needed because it ensures airtight insulation when two different materials are joined by crimping. Third one is easy. Power supply. I think the name is self-explanatory. Coming to number four, antenna. It's so-called antenna because it sticks out a little bit like an antenna. The material is made of niobium band and it also centers and fixes the niobium band. Number five, the niobium band. Niobium is a very noble, expensive material. Niobium is one of the most requested materials on Earth. And this is no coincidence. The material is mostly used where the requirements are particularly extreme. For example, as cladding for nuclear fuel rods, in rocket engines or on the outer skin of rockets where very high temperatures are generated. Thanks to niobium, for example, the space shuttle was able to withstand the enormous temperatures that act on the materials when they re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. Well, we are not building rockets here, but building good lamps is also science and a bit of art. If you use inexpensive and poor materials here, this will lead to impurities in the emitter and to premature end of life of the lamp. In number six, we have the Neop centering. This comp component, which you see here, is also made of niobium. The centering fixes the burner exactly in the middle of the outer tube. Number seven, burner or arc tube. Name it like you like. It is the heart of the discharge lamp with the two opposite electrodes made of high purity ceramic. Aluminia is used as the basic material. 
high melting temperatures of over 2000 degrees Celsius, very high th thermal conductivity, high dielectric strength of up to 35 kilovolt per millimeter are only three of the important characteristics a good arc tube must have. By the way, we also manufacture burners ourselves at our production facility in Berlin. And here we have the cold getter. This tiny small component is, let's put it in this way, a permanently employed cleaner or roommate for the lamp. Through chemical reaction, it binds undesirable re residues of gases and hydrogen, which could still be in the lamp of reduction in particles. And finally, number nine, the quartz leaf. This quartz leaf tube is not only gives the lamp its shape, but also protects the components. A further advantage is that the lamp can be used in an open fixture without an additional filter screen. It protects us as humans that undesired UV radiation does not get outside the lamp. Here I'm back. This 1000 watt double ended is the most sold lamp in professional greenhouses for the last 10 years. Reason is the output is just great. It is a stable lamp. It can be dimmed and it can be boosted. Running it with an electronic ballast, the guarantee lifetime is 10,000 hours. I only can wish you best harvest, best with our lamp. It would make us happy too. Thank you very much for your attention.